This is Georgetown University in Washington, D.C., the oldest Catholic university in the United States. But this morning in Professor Mannion's class, there was plenty of room for criticism when mentioning the church. The present and the previous Cardinal Archbishop of Washington, D.C. were both complicit in doing serious wrongs in relation to the clerical and religious abuse crisis in the church. Do you think they should strip the uh, them from of their degree? Yeah, yeah, you should tell you absolutely. Today's debate: Should Georgetown revoke the honorary degrees it gave to the two offending cardinals? I think in our generation today, the the individual has way more power um, than than we did in the past, and I think there's more emphasis on that. Um, and I think being at Georgetown, it teaches us to be strong and, and strong individuals and to be leaders in our society, you know, from people from other schools. So I think it sets that example. And yeah, I think we need to enforce change. The reformist trend has gained popularity within the student body, but was actually initiated by faculty members. Pope Francis was seen to be different when he came in. He wanted a zero tolerance approach to this. But it seems that even his intentions have been thwarted at various stages. And so the procedures and the removal of people who've been complicit in covering up these crimes uh, have not been allowed to come to full fruition. At Georgetown University, one idea seems to prevail. If the church doesn't sanction the incriminated priests, it is the church members who will do so.